Hey everyone, I'm Justin Weatherholz. I'm coming to you from my studio here in Brooklyn, New York. I'm gonna show you a little bit of work from Greg Irons. He's uh, one of my favorite artists, and I'm gonna show you some of my own personal collection and give you some insight on who he was. became aware of Greg Iron's work through working at Kings Avenue. Um, Mike was doing a lot of, you know, water and him and Grez would speak a lot about um, Mike was doing a lot of, you know, water and him and Grez would speak a lot about like Greg Iron's and the way that he would manipulate water and these different shapes and all that and, and at the time Mike was really using a lot of that visual reference in his work and uh, it was something that I was really responding to like seeing all like the pulls and the texture in the water was something that and I still to this day reference all the time in my work. So the first thing that I got of Greg's was his book, uh, You Call This Art, which was like a complete retrospective of his work. And in this, I found out that he was a comic book artist, which growing up, I started out drawing a lot of comics. He was also big in the music world as far as like drawing illustrations for concerts and things like that. And I was um, drawing a lot of stuff as a kid as well from like, you know, heavy metal album covers and things like that and doing things for my own band. And he's also from Pennsylvania, and I'm from Pennsylvania, so there's that. So this is a cool illustration folder of images from Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner that Greg did um, back in, I believe, 1981? Yes, 81. And I love this front cover so much, and I use this as like the inspiration for the King's Ave shirt that we have uh, called Ode to Irons, appropriately. Okay, so here's some examples from Greg's music career. He did um, a lot of illustrations for uh, Bill Graham concerts at the Fillmore in San Francisco. Here's one of my favorite um, comic book covers he did, these weirdo rockers, and he did a lot of political comics and some good examples of that. And then he did this really great um, collaboration with a poet um, it's called Ants, and just says the ants line up and we crush them with all of these dots representing the ants in it. Just kind of a weird little cool find. So this is a cool illustration I got that Greg did for Captain Don, the Sword Swallower. He was a sideshow entertainer. Um, I don't really know what this was for, but it's got a bunch of cool information on it, and I just I'm stoked to have it. Um, I actually got to see Captain Don do a, his sword swallowing thing, I believe, in 2000 um, at the New York City Convention. So really cool to have. Also, then moving on to some of the tattoo. Artwork. This is an illustration he did for, this is a tattooer Terry Tweed. Um, this is the tattoo he eventually did on him, but this was the illustration that I guess there was too much going on. He had to simplify it for that, but really cool to have that original with the photo of the tattoo. So here's some actual photos of Greg tattooing and some of his business cards as well. He started tattooing in 79 and died tragically in 1984 where he got hit by a bus on a trip in Thailand. On that trip he was supposed to come back and open up a shop with Ed Hardy which would have been incredible and everybody would have loved to have seen whatever would have come out from that. Um, I think 
Greg's influence in tattooing was so strong so fast because of the way he illustrated and the way he did a lot of his artwork. It lent itself so perfectly to tattooing and uh, I think that's why that happened so fast. So finally I want to share my favorite thing that I have of Greg's. So this is a flyer that he did in 82 for a guest spot. This is the original and it's got some really cool things that I love personally like he used the half tone to get all the gray tones in this. Uh, all, that's all razored out and put in there and then like using white out to kind of like fill out some of the spots for the highlights and so it has some really cool notes at the top that he put in there. Um, so it's really cool to have like that piece because the first time I saw it was in the book like way smaller and so it's cool to see it from that and then have the original you know being one of my favorite artists and one of my biggest influences wanted to share a little bit about him and um, hope you enjoy So it's been really fun sharing Greg's work with you guys today. I'm really happy to have some of his originals and really happy to share them with you. So thanks so much for watching.